Hi amazing Leos, welcome to my channel for your general love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising guys. As you can hear by the echo everyone, I am still in the process of moving, but I do have a lot of creative content for you guys, and I definitely wanted to push some videos out regardless of my circumstance, so I hope you guys can definitely resonate with this reading. So this is for love for Sun, Moon, and Rising, and take what applies and leaves the rest guys. All information for private readings, etc. packages and social media links will be in the description box and comment box below guys okay so if you have any questions shoot me an email and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible okay Leos so let's go ahead and pull three cards guys the first card we have is a devil card number 15 very interesting card to pull from the beginning very 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 interesting and you are a fire sign second card nine of cups now the nine of cups is a fantastic card to have in a love reading because this is talking about a wish granted so something is definitely going to go your way all right so we have some kind of temptation sneaky energy below as a first card and the second card we have is a wish being granted to you okay something going your way um possibly could be in reference to a capricorn or some kind of information coming through for you leos i'm also hearing here this definitely could be also a job opportunity that you have been waiting for and then i'm getting that towards the middle of march um i'm even hearing may as well there could definitely be some super 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 duper good news for you leo so that nine of cups is quite interesting as well so you have basically major arcana and then you have a water element card as your two cards so far for your overview energy leo's the third card for Leos. What do you have? Princess of Wands. So very, very nice on the career front, um, especially with I'm hearing um, if you're moving houses or if you're planning to um, go into a different uh, career field. It definitely feels here that you Leos have a lot of um, energetic backing okay you have a lot of things going in your favor right now okay um we definitely did have virgo full moon um we had two full moons at the beginning of march guys so i would definitely recommend for you guys to watch the virgo video or to you know research those kind of things because i do feel like um just astrology wise you guys you guys can definitely benefit i don't know too much about that but i just in general i just want to put it out here that if you have virgo in your chart or anything to do with earth or fire like yourself leo um there definitely is a lot of energy here with being spontaneous and you know if you're just springing into action and trying something out it just feels like this month for you leos um it will be very very successful you may not expect to be successful but it's going to be so um that's very 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 nice to see leo so let's get right into your love reading so I'm going to leave those three cards out. So the, the, the Capricorn card, the devil, nine of cups, and the princess of wands, okay? Let's go ahead and pull your cards for love, Leos. Let's see what you have, all right? So of lately, I have been shuffling like this. Um, in other videos, Leos, I normally shuffle like this, but of lately, I've been shuffling like this for some reason, so let's give it a whirl. So Leo in love, I am recording this video um, at night on Wednesday, the 7th of March. You guys can take this as a daily video or a weekly or a monthly, whatever kind of um, floats your boat here. I'm going to be trying to do as much videos as possible. I am moving, so bear with me. First card we have is the Hermit. Okay, so basically the Virgo card. So like I said earlier, Leo, there is a lot of Virgo influence in your spread. And right now, Virgo, like Scorpio, is quite lucky, okay? A lot of things right now are hovering around their sign. So if you have anything with Scorpio or Virgo in your chart, I definitely recommend for you guys to watch those videos, all right? Overlapping the Hermit card, which talks about inner knowledge, retreats, gaining information, crossing you have the three of cups now the three of cups is obviously the third party card okay but the other flip side of the three of cups can talk about hanging out with friends entertainment all right being around groups of people so 
if it's not in reference so far to third party, then it can just talk about, you know, mix and mingling. But of course, if you are taken or the person you're talking to Leo is taken, then clearly this is a third party card and not necessarily in reference to going out, clubbing, drinking, partying. Um, and as I turn my eye over here, we have a Capricorn, the devil card. So for a good handful of you Leos, I definitely am inclined to say that there's a possibility that maybe in the past uh, you did have some kind of um, triangle with somebody. I'm also getting it could be a triangle that also included a coworker or a boss or somebody basically at work around you. So this definitely could be talking about either, you know, you're talking to a coworker or you were talking to somebody and maybe the person you were talking to, Leo, also was involved with a coworker. So it's that kind of um, scenario and kind of storyline I'm getting here where um, it feels like your career and your love is is crossing um, crossing lanes ever so often this month for some reason. So let's kind of dig deep, Leo, and see what that's exactly about. So the last two cards I pulled are very, very good. Once again, lots of fire like yourself. So that's very nice to see. Ace of Wands is talking about creativity, being able to take the opportunity and run with it. It can also be in reference to starting a brand new relationship. So finally getting out of dating and actually committing with this person. So definitely can be progress here to be made. Knight of Wands, very, very similar as well. So coming in quickly. But like I always say, when you come in quickly, you can also leave quickly. So there is more than I can honestly say, Leo, there's more than one person here. OK, so for a lot of you guys, um, if you're married, this may not apply. Honestly speaking, I mean, it's general. But for a majority of Leos that I'm picking up for that I'm doing this video for, uh, there definitely is energy here of more than one person being around you, more than one person wanting to get to know you. So if you're if you're not really talking to more than one person right now or you really haven't seen more than one person come through, I'm not getting any specific sign. I'm getting all signs here to be honest with you. I'm not getting just Leo or Sag. No, I'm getting every single sign here. Definitely could be a possibility that you will have um, a lot of people to choose from. The Sun card, okay? I believe this is your Leo card right here as well. Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. Nine of Cups again. So this is your hopes and fears. So obviously this is a hope, okay? It's a hope, Leo, that you guys want something to go your way. So no harm in that. Absolutely no harm in that. So the last card for the spread for Leo is for love. 7th of March, general love for all Leo, sun, moon, and rising. What is our final card here? All right, we have the Eight of Cups. So it definitely makes sense to me. So what I'm getting here, basically, Leo's with the Capricorn card, your crowning energy is the Seven of Wands, and your final card is the Eight of Cups. What I'm definitely getting here is that, um, and of course, how can we forget Three of Cups? What I'm getting here is that basically, Leo's, as the month unravels, you may not want to be kind of a part of this fast paced lifestyle. Because with this Nine of Cups card over here and also over here, Leo, what I feel strongly is that, you know, you know that I'm hearing physically things can go your way. Um, I feel like you're very, very well aware of this, that like it's not really hard to um, have more than one person, I guess, like fall for you, Leo. That's what I'm hearing. So I just definitely feel like, you know, you're able to have multiple offers like you really, really are able to do this. But for some reason, what I'm getting is that maybe towards the end of the month, maybe not for all of you, but for a good amount of you guys, it's like towards the end of the month, you may want to go in a different direction because you feel like you want something deeper okay i'm gonna collect these cards so i'm actually gonna leave this card out the ace of wands and the hermit i'm gonna leave out with the nine of cups and just to note um leo's the seven of wands is talking about being defensive and protecting what's yours 
feeling the need to really really um look over things especially if it's legal um you're wanting to make sure that you're protected and that your interest is in the forefront so once again if this has to do with maybe a relationship that has happened or um kind of blossomed from a work environment uh if you are dating somebody at work leo if you haven't already or what's basically around you is it saying that you need to probably get some legal advice or talk to somebody who's in management or i'm getting strongly hr right okay to basically say to them hey you know this is what's going on and maybe you can even uh explain that hey you know there's something that i feel tempted to do so basically it may not be like set in stone that you're dating this person or actually maybe have even admitted to liking this person but i definitely feel like you leos especially with a work environment you really may feel the need to um like tell somebody something to kind of get it off your chest but at the same time it's saying that you know you're quite afraid to do that you're not really ready and you feel like there's steps to this and if you feel that way then you're correct so this is going to be a process and i feel like if this has been like a consistent thing where you've been getting your wish you know wishes granted to you over and over and over it may bubble up to the point where you have the princess of wands okay where you have the ace of wands okay two very strong creative cards leo so it could definitely be that it gets to the point where you can possibly build up the courage to um with this person admit that hey you know we're a couple but of course if this has anything to do with a third party you can't do that all right um you just can't do that and so for some of you guys you may feel trapped but this is not gonna be for everybody but this is what i'm getting is that there is some kind of dynamic here where you want to kind of um make something exclusive and you want something to be known that it's official but somehow you can't do that you can't you can't do that so let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers leo The hermit seven of wands so once again you really really feel the need to defend your um integrity your pride your your reputation okay like maybe even your occupation for some of you guys maybe for some of you leos you feel like this has gotten kind of out of hand and now you kind of want to reel it back in and maybe kind of brushen up some things change how you speak to certain people um it's definitely energy here of of protecting yourself though and i feel like for a lot of you leos this may be a situation that you want to see ended like for a lot of you leos you may want this to be just done and you know that's what i get here and the final card is seven of swords so you have seven of wands and you have seven of swords so seven seven and of course seven is a very very spiritual number and it can talk also about um you know wanting perfection perfection something divinely um incorporated for you so i definitely feel like you know in general leo what it looks like is that you're gonna have wishes granted to you okay either way you slice it and dice it i feel like a lot of your passion a lot of your wants are gonna be fulfilled but at the same time leo there may be some kind of um lines this month that you cannot cross so maybe last month i'm even i'm even hearing september you were able to kind of you know get around some things but this month it seems like you know there is a capricorn the devil card there is some kind of influence of um you know temptation so obviously you want to be careful but you know you're going to get a wish granted it but it just says basically that you may need to um defend yourself and what's so interesting leo is that this card is facing this way and this card is facing this way and they're both kind of running to each other so definitely could be some kind of clash or some kind of you know um confrontation that you want to have but once again there is a block okay and they're totally different element cards this is air this is fire so they're not the same they don't see eye to eye but they're going the right direction but they don't see eye to eye so if you kind of want to um unload the basket case so to speak this month just make sure leo that you know this is with somebody who you know will look at the real side of you okay will understand the real real um reason behind how you feel and will not you know make a mockery of you and will not make you feel like you're crazy and there definitely is some opportunities here on the table leo for you to have in your relationship with this person absolutely so or any person it really could be anybody 
I didn't pull the Ace of Cups, but there is a lot of cup energy here. You have two wish granted cards, card number one, card number two. So double whammy, being able to be happy and content. But, you know, with this wish granted, you may have to kind of cut some corners on other things, Leo. So just be aware. This is your reading for the 7th of this month, basically of March. And catch you guys in the next video. Take care, Leos. Bye-bye.